गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई फील इमेंस प्लेजर टू बी हियर फॉर द कोर्स एयरक्राफ्ट स्टेबिलिटी एंड कंट्रोल दिस लेक्चर इंक्लूड्स कॉफिशियंट ऑफ लिफ्ट ऑफ ट्रिम वर्सेस डेल्टा ई ट्रिम एंड ए स्मॉल न्यूमेरिकल विल बी हैंडल्ड एट द लास्ट एज यू नो आई एम डॉक्टर वाई डी द्विवेदी प्रोफेसर from Institute of Aeronautical Engineering Hyderabad India In today's lecture i am going to cover a review on longitudinal static stability after that i will go for the trim condition then numerical to find elevator deflection to trim the aircraft at particular coefficient of lift calculation of elevator control power that is cm delta e in this lecture the following questions will be answered what do you mean by elevator control power means what is the elevator control power and how this affect the aircraft stability and how it will affect the control of the longitudinal control of the aircraft how does the graph delta e versus cl or cm versus cl changes for trim versus elevator deflection so these things i am going to cover in today's class i will go with the longitudinal static stability first so by this airplane i am going to discuss first about what is the longitudinal static stability when i talk about longitudinal static stability this indicates that the as and when wind is disturbing the steady state flight if the wind is coming like this the alpha the angle of attack has changed and aircraft has pitch up this pitching up take place with respect to the lateral axis the lateral axis is the axis which is passing from wing tip to wing tip via center of gravity so aircraft will nose up if the tendency of this aircraft after this disturbing gust is removed if you remove this disturbing gust whether this aircraft nose is trying to come or intended to come to its equilibrium position if it is like this we can say that aircraft is longitudinal static stable this we have to understand that it is a tendency it will it will not come at a time but if after this the disturbance you remove the disturbance and if nose is trying to come to its initial position then we say that it is longitudinal static stability so here we can say that longitudinal static stability will primarily refer to aircraft pitching moment characteristics and will be analyzed for the static fixed condition we, we should be very much careful about static fixed we are static fixed means the pilot will fix the, the control to the particular angle of attack like elevator it will be fixed and it will not move due to the it will not float by the aerodynamic forces we are assuming that it will remain at the same position at which pilot has fixed the stick the control columns and it will the all control surfaces will remain in that condition so the sign of the static derivative that is cm alpha is key in determining the static longitudinal stability so i have already covered that the stability derivative or the longitudinal static stability derivative it is called cm alpha if the cm alpha is negative then we can say that aircraft is statically longitudinal stable so when the aircraft will be the 
derivatives will be negative. If you increase the angle of attack, just I am drawing here. <coughs> if, if I draw the plot like this, this is the alpha and this is the CM. As you increase the positive 1, 2, 3, positive angle of attack and your CM is coming down like this. So if this is the plot and this is called CM alpha and this is less than 0, then we say that aircraft is longitudinal static stability. This we have already covered, just I am revising again and again. The requirement to trim the aircraft at usable angle of attack is also discussed with the longitudinal stability requirement. So this we can see that this is the this is the CM naught, this is the CM naught, and this CM naught should be greater than zero so that a usable angle of attack, usable alpha. This is the usable alpha. If it is positive in this direction, then we can say that it is a usable angle of attack. And this usable angle of attack, we should make sure that it is a positive. So if angle of attack is positive and this CM naught, it should be also positive. So if the CM naught is at zero angle of attack, at alpha is equal to zero, the CM naught should be positive. So this also we have to ensure. So both the general necessary to achieve flight characteristics. So these are the two flight characteristics. If we are able to make that CM naught is equal to is greater than zero or positive as shown in this plot and the CM alpha, the slope of this curve, the DCM by D alpha should be less than zero or negative. If we are able to meet this criteria, we can say that aircraft is longitudinal static stable. Now, we should know at what condition we are going to trim the aircraft. That is called the trim condition. And requirement for longitudinal trim is that the overall pitching moment acting on the aircraft be equal to zero or in coefficient form. If you see what is the meaning of trim condition? Trim condition means there is no net moment. The moments are balanced by clockwise and anti-clockwise then aircraft is called the trim. So how we can get this moment zero? Net moment is zero and this we can achieve by the help of our horizontal tail because most of the time we can see that our aerodynamic center of the wing is forward. This aerodynamic center will try to make nose up. As you can see in this diagram, the center of gravity or the weight is acting behind. So if it is behind the aerodynamic center of the wing, then this lift force which is acting on the aerodynamic center, it will try to make nose up. If it is making the nose up, then aircraft is longitudinal instable. So how we can make? So we have to attach one horizontal tail and this horizontal tail is far away from the center of gravity. And this distance from here to here, the distance between the center of gravity and the aerodynamic center of the horizontal tail is called the uh, tail moment arm and it is expressed as LT and it is very much essential that we should understand the position of the center of gravity. It is called XCG. XCG is measured from the leading edge of the wing and aerodynamic center of wing and fuselage. It is measured as XACWF. XACWF is a position of aerodynamic center with respect to the leading edge of the wing. So here we can see that in this diagram, uh, this point is taken from here. It is the aerodynamic center. This aerodynamic center is the distance from a reference point is taken as XACWF. 
and the center of gravity of the aircraft is taken as a W and it is called XCG. This XCG minus XAC, if it is negative, then it will be clockwise direction. Okay, as shown in this equation, this LWF, this is the lift produced by the wing into XCG minus XAC, means this distance. This is XAC, XAC minus XCG. So, this lift into this distance is equal to plus MCA, MC, MACWF. Okay, so this minus this LH into from this distance to this distance. So, what is this distance? XACH minus XCG. So, here XACH minus XCG minus this is T into this distance dt. T into thrust into this distance. Both are in the in this direction. So this plus this are moment produced by the wing plus moment produced due to the aerodynamic center is equal to the moment produced by horizontal tail into plus moment produced by the engine thrust and this should be zero because to have the trim condition the net moment should be zero so we are trying to understand how this thing will be zero so now i want to find out what is lh this lift produced by the horizontal tail so this lh we can this lh we want to find out so we can make it here, this LH is equal to LWF XCG minus XAC plus MAC plus this uh, minus TDT divided by XACH minus XCG. Is it clear? Which is, I, I think, very simple. We can find out that how much lift is required in the given condition. So, with here XCG if this XCG is less than XAC, as here, here, if XCG is less than X, it means if AC is behind the CG, here it is CG, this AC is ahead of the CG. It can be seen that the download LH should be less than zero. So if you can see here, I am again, I am drawing here. This you can understand of what the meaning of the here, the first one. If XCG, this distance is less than this distance, it means what? If I make this wing like this, this is the CG and this is the AC. It means it will act like this, moment will be produced like this. So, we need a force here at the tail which should pull down. So, LH should be greater than less than zero or negative. LH should be downward. Then only we will be able to balance that the aircraft trim condition. The second condition is as shown in this actual diagram. This you can see here that if your aerodynamic center is ahead of the center of gravity, X XCG is greater here, XCG is greater than XAC, then tail may be either up or down depending upon the MAC. So it may be upward or the downward, this depend upon what is the direction of uh, this moment due to aerodynamic center, this MAC. So these are the parameters which we have to look after and we should see that the net moment should be zero for any trim condition. So this, to find the trim condition, the location of aerodynamic center, the location of the center of gravity is very, very essential. And if the aerodynamic center is ahead of the center of gravity, the lift produced by the horizontal tail may be positive, may be negative, but mostly it will be negative 
means LH should be pointing towards the earth. And if as shown in this diagram, the CG is behind the aerodynamic center, the moment produced by the wing is positive or clockwise direction, 100% we need a positive LH. LH should be greater than 0. Okay, so that is the requirement of the aircraft. Now, condition for the trim. As we are discussing about the trim, we should understand what is the trim and how we can proceed ahead. For a trim condition, the uh, CM not CM should be zero, and the uh, summation of the total moment that is the CM not plus CM alpha into alpha, CM delta E into delta E plus CM IH into IH is equal to zero, where IH is equal to is a uh, horizontal tail setting angle. Another requirement for the trim is the ability to trim the aircraft at a positive angle of attack. So one thing here that CM alpha should be negative that is the first case but the second case is CM naught that is the another requirement for trim is the ability to trim the aircraft at positive angle of attack. You see here, in this trim is shown as CM is equal to 0 and here this alpha is greater than 0. So this is also requirement and this slope of this curve that is called CM alpha also should be less than 0. So these two conditions are this CM naught is shown here and it is a positive. If our aircraft we should design in such a way that these two conditions has to be met. So this is generally accomplished by, so how we can find out the positive angle of attack, the trim condition at the positive angle of attack, the CM naught plus CM IH, IH should be positive. This is called greater than zero or it is called the positive. So the effect of uh, CM naught and the effect of IH, so IH also should be positive. It means the wing, say, uh, this tail setting, your always you should generate a lift in this direction, like this. So you will get the positive angle of attack, the trim condition as shown in this diagram. So hope you are able to understand this condition. So the primary requirement for longitudinal static stability is CM alpha should be negative as shown in this diagram and the vertical intercept that is CM naught so that it should also be positive so that a positive trim angle can be achieved as shown in this diagram. Now I want to discuss about the control power that is the CM delta E. Delta E term in CM equation allows adjustment of the trim angle of attack by varying the elevator deflection delta E as illustrated in the figure. This you can see here in this figure that the elevator required to trim that is delta E trim is equal to minus CM naught plus CM alpha into alpha plus CM IH into IH divided by CM delta E or C delta E trim is equal to minus CM naught plus CM CL. This, if it is the for the linear case, alpha can be replaced by the CL. So CM CL into CL plus CM IH into IH divided by CM delta E. Here, CM alpha into alpha is equal to CM CL into CL for low angle of attack, as in this equation is a linear condition. So this we can see here a very interesting result. A plot is shown between CM and the alpha. And this you can see that it is the positive that CM naught plus CM IH into IH. And here delta E is equal to minus 5 degree delta. E. And this is a purely trim in this condition. And delta E is equal to 5 degree. So as 
delta e is a minus means upward if you see what is the meaning of minus this is your tail and this is your elevator so if it is going upward elevator is going upward it is a minus delta e and if elevator is going downward this is the plus delta e so if you want to a higher cl or higher angle of attack then you have to deflect upward and if you want lower trim condition you have to deflect downward so this we and a very important thing by deflecting this thing the cm alpha will not change no change in cm alpha cm alpha the slope of this curve will remain same so all these three para, three plots are running parallelly so this much you have to ensure that the plot of the deflection of elevator doesn't change its slope only its trim position is changed initially it was at zero but if you make upward elevator upward the cl has increased but if you make downward elevator your cl has reduced from the previous one so here the figure present a typical graph for delta e trim as a function of cl so this you can see a delta e versus cl and here cm versus alpha is is shown here and both are uh, equally important uh, plots further i am proceeding ahead if we combine this cm not and cm ih ih into one term that meets the criteria of equation so delta e trim is equal to C minus cm not plus cm ih divided by cm delta e minus cm cl cl trim by cm delta e in simpler form delta e trim is equal to delta e not minus cm cl cl trim by cm delta e where delta e not is equal to minus cm not plus cm ih ih divided by cm delta e delta e can be thought of as the elevator required to trim the aircraft at a lift coefficient of 0 so here this you can see that the delta e trim and this cl trim is is shown here and here this is the trim condition of the particular in this case your delta e is equal to 0 and cl you will get this is the cl trim so now i am talking to the today's topic on how this cl trim for various center of gravity location so the variation of cm versus cl is given in the plot and shown the stable condition in this plot and this is the stable here cm alpha is less than 0 and here cm not is greater than 0 so here dcm by dcl is less than 0 and dcm by d alpha is also less than 0 it is shown here as dcm by d alpha we can write as a dcm by dcl into dcl by d alpha so this this cancel so here both are same so the point 1 in the given plot shows this point that cl trim as in this point cm is equal to 0 so this is the trim condition because in this case here the the value of cm is 0 there is no uh, moment in this case so here dcm by dcl we know that it is a x bar cg minus x bar np and this is called minus static margin where sm is called static margin so the slope of dcm by dcl is depend upon the cg location so you can see here that dcm by dcl is sm and sm is what it is a x cg minus x np so this x cg is a very important parameter to understand about the condition of the uh, this static stability so we have to decide the depend upon the cg location and this cg location is called the neutral point and neutral point is that center of gravity location where dcm by dcl is equal to 0 so the neutral point is that cg location where 
the DCM by DCL is equal to 0. So now our CG is coinciding with neutral point. So static margin should be 0. So now delta E is equal to delta E naught plus D delta E by DCL trim into CL trim. So D delta E by DCL trim is equal to minus this D, D, D delta E by DCL trim is equal to D delta E by DCL trim is equal to minus DCM by DCL and CM delta E. So the pitching moment due to positive delta CL generates a negative CM. This is called CM delta E less than 0 or negative. Okay, so this you can see here that the D delta E by DCL is equal to minus DCM by DCL and CM delta E. So here this DC, CM delta E, so pitching moment due to positive delta CL, if just I want to explain here, pitching moment due to positive delta CM generates a negative. So if this delta CM generated by the tail is positive means upward, this upward will generate downward motion. So this CM is negative. So CM delta E will be also negative or less than 0. Now a small numerical is there. That is a foreign aircraft following data given. That is neutral point is equal to 0 0.5 C. Static margin is 30 percent. CL trim is equal to 0 0.6 delta E is equal to 0, CL, now the next condition is CL trim we want to make 0 0.4 and that time delta E is positive 0 degree down, okay, so it is down. So calculate control power CM delta E, so you have to calculate CM delta E. If new CD is at 0 0.4 C, so, so if the position of CG is 0.4 C, then what will be the CL trim for delta E is equal to 0. So these two things we have to find out that CL trim at delta E is equal to 0 for this new condition and these two three conditions are here given. So we have to find out elevator control power CM delta E first. So this we can see here that given here that CL trim is equal to 0 0.6 and delta E is equal to 0. Now CL trim is equal to 0 0.4, delta E is equal to 4. So this you can see here in this diagram, CM and CL. So initial, this is the condition. So at this you have CL, this, uh, CL is equal to 0 0.6 here and in this you have delta E is equal to 0. But if you have shifted this side. So now new condition will be moving from here like this and here your delta E is equal to 0 and it is downwards. So we have to find out the CM delta E. Here it is given the, the static margin is 0 0.3 and NO is also given. So by this equation we know that delta E is equal to delta E naught plus D delta E by D CL trim into CL trim where D delta E naught is equal to minus CM alpha divided by CM delta E and D delta E by D CL trim is equal to minus D CM by D CL divided by CM delta E. So we have to find out D delta E by D CL trim. So D delta E by D CL trim is equal to here 4 degree. 4 degree minus 0 degree and then 0 0.4 minus 0 0.6. So here 4 by 0 0.2. So it is a minus 20 degree. This is the delta E trim is required minus 20 degree. It means what? This has to increase. So D delta E by D CL trim is equal to minus 20 degree. So this one thing we have got. Now we have to, now our aim is to find CM delta E and we know that D delta E by DCL trim is equal to minus DCM by DCL 
divided by cm delta e and this we have find out as a minus 20 degree. So we know that static margin sm is given by the dcm by dcl. So the dcm by dcl is equal to minus sm and it is given as a 30 percent. So it is a minus 0 0.3. So this value we have got minus 3. So minus minus 0 0.3 divided by cm delta e is equal to minus 20. So cm delta e is equal to 0 0.3 by minus 20. So we will get cm delta e is equal to minus 0 0.015. So per degree. So this we have got one answer is that uh, elevator control power cm delta is minus 0 0.015 per degree. Next, the second part we have to find out that if new CG is at 0.4 C, what will be the CL trim for delta E0? So, in this case, static margin will be same as X CG is changed. We need to find CL trim. Some assumptions CG has changed, so LT will also change. That will affect the CM delta E. CM not, but we assume that they are not affected by this. So here we have seen that delta E and XCG is 0.4C and delta E is equal to 0. So in this diagram, so this new CG location is given 0.4, CL trim we have to find out first and then delta E is equal to 0. So delta E is equal to delta E naught plus D delta E by D CL trim into CL trim. So D delta E by D C L trim is equal to minus D C M by D C L minus X N P minus X C G or X C G minus N P so 0 0.4 minus 0 0.5 to D C M by D C L is equal to minus 0 0.1 or 10 percent of the cot. The D C M by D C L is negative so C G is ahead to neutral point. This indicates that if DCM by DCL is negative, the CG is ahead of the neutral point. So D delta E by is equal to D delta E naught minus DCM by DCL, CM delta E into CL trim. So here the uh, CG is ahead than the neutral point. So now we have to find out D E naught is equal to minus CM naught by CM delta E. So D delta E is equal to minus 0 0.18 divided by g minus 0 0.015. This 0 0.015 we have find out. So this CM naught because it is 0 0.6 here it is mentioned and it is a 0 0.3. So this is the 0 0.18. So here this we have got CM naught is equal to 0 0.18. So, so minus 0 0.18 so we got 12 degree. So we need 12 degree uh, this thing delta E naught. So now delta E is equal to delta E naught plus minus DCM by DCL into CL trim. Putting this delta E is equal to 0. Here is a 12 XCG minus XNP by CM delta E into CL trim. 12 and here XCG is 0 0.4 minus 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.015 into CL trim. So now the CL trim we will get as 1.8. So CL trim we got 1.8. So this is the new condition where the location of this thing we have find. So these are the references in PTL lecture of aircraft stability and control by Professor A.K. Ghosh and Robert C. Nelson is the, the book which I am referring. Thank you very much for joining this uh, class. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.